looking over the nation's treasure, Mount Fuyi, this Hizuoka prefecture. It has been blessed by a warm climate and plenty of water. High-quality bamboo also grows naturally here. And that was born in this land. Suruga's Bamboo Sensui Craftsmanship Sensui refers to the technique of using overlapping bamboo strands to make it look like a thousand strands were used. And of its characteristics are the rounded out and circular bamboo strings. In many artisan shops, flattened out bamboo is used. But these cylindrical bamboo strings create some uniquely delicate and beautiful curves. The shadows it gives off bring a delicate sense of calm and heighten the value of bamboo. Bamboo sensui craftsmanship has its origins in the earlier period of the Edo era. Yewasu Tokugawa had stepped back from his role as Sogu and had retired to this land, once called Sunpu. Yeyasu had entrusted a local craftsman to make a bamboo basket for his falcon's bait. As the technique developed, objects like birds or insects cages began to be made. To avoid hurting the birds or insects, cylindrical strands of bamboo were used. Now, there are young artisans that want to pass this traditional technique to the later generations. Suruga's Bamboo Sensui Craftsman, Emi Oomura. Ms. Umura was born in the city of Kakegawa in Suzuoka Prefecture. She has liked handicrafts since she was a child. By the time she had gotten into high school, she had already started to take an interest in traditional craftsmanship. Then, in her second year of high school, at a Suzuoka workshop called Sunpu Artisan House, she had gotten to experience the art of manipulating bamboo. She was hooked. After graduating, she became the apprentice of Mr. Uasuhiro Kishinomiya, a traditional craftsman. Mr. Kishinomiya's work brings out the many layers of bamboo and holds many awards from various handicraft exhibitions. This piece is Mr. Kishinomiwa's masterpiece, Blaze. The boldly interlaced bamboo constructs a magical atmosphere. She has been training by Mr. Kishinomiwa's side for 13 years. Using the skills she's acquired, Ms. Omura is now spreading the charm of sensui to various people in the same place she once encountered the craft. But how does her teacher see Ms. Omura? No, やっぱりそれなりに厳しさを考えてのシーンが強くなければできないことだし。そんな簡単な覚悟じゃないと思いますよ。本当にだけあの好きだと思いますよ。はい。This time around, 
Ms. Omura will be crafting one of her own designs. And she has referenced her teacher's work in the process. First, she will pick a suitable piece of bamboo. She will look for the straightest pieces. ま、湯紙のないタケットっていうのはそもそもそんなにないので、それはもう湯紙はしょうがないんですけど、作るものに合うかどうかっていうことですね。作るものが違えば、今選んだものが逆に合わないっていうこともあるので、その時によって一番い
これが繊維が途中で切れてしまっているとそこのところで今年も弱くなってしまうので折れてしまうことがあります。Completed strings measuring 1.2 mm each is bundled up together and bent to shape. They are pressed against an iron heated to 200 degrees. By heating the bamboo, one is able to manipulate it at will. By cooling it off, the shape is preserved. They are bundled together to achieve consistency. By doing this, irregularities are avoided. Now, we will be making the rings that will be pierced by the strings. Mizuomura checks the bend of each piece. Bamboo fibers zigzag at the joints, which creates bends. Contorted pieces are heated up and are straightened up with a tool called tamegi. These will be used to make the bottom and the lid. If they were to remain crooked, the final product would be unstable. The difference between the before and after is as clear as water. Once straightened out, a heated tool called Douan is used to shape them into rings. Once the bamboo has been heated, the stick is bent immediately. Now that the shape has been established, a tool called Samashi is used to cool down and hold the ring in place. Without this tool, the piece of wood would spring back into its original shape. Now that it is bent, it will be made into a single ring. At this stage, the line drawn on the surface is crucial. This is a technique unique to Sensui craftsmanship called Tsugite. By cutting diagonally, the joining surface is bigger and the bond is therefore stronger. It's left out to dry and then the outer surface is smoothed out. The joining place is almost indiscernible. The holes where the bamboo string will go now are drilled. In most projects, a perpendicular hole is opened. However, to make the final product round, diagonal holes have to be drilled on the surface. Because of the hard bamboo bark, the drill can slip off, and the bamboo might break. If even one hole has the wrong angle, the shape of the bamboo strings will get distorted and the piece will get even more distorted. Furthermore, if the holes are made too deep, the bamboo strings might poke out. If they are too shallow, they will easily fall out. Without a hitch, 120 holes have been drilled. After working, Ms. Oamura visits the Japanese tea ceremony school. She attends once a week. This tea basket, which is used to carry the tea ceremony tool, was made by Ms. Oamura from the perspective of the user. It's a technically difficult piece, as it has only round corners. Saddle 
思っています。Ms. Oomura's pieces are all made by having the user in one's mind. This time, she's inheriting some of her teacher's style to make her own piece of art. The work is finally almost over. And now, the net for the base and the lid is being weaved. Strings are separated into three, and then one is slipped in between. It's a wickerwork weave. She firmly weaves each one. Once the net is complete, the base and lid will be assembled. The net is cut into a circle and jammed into the ring. The net is held into place with a stopping ring to hold the base in place. Next up, the lid will be made and a purposefully oversized net is jammed into the ring. Like pushing it in like this, a round lid can be made. All the components have been gathered. The last stage assembly will now begin. The rounded bamboo strings are inserted in each hole, so the two rings are connected. The ends have been laced with glue, so there's no backing out. They may look fail, but four bamboo strings are enough to support the upper ring. She keeps interesting each string carefully, while thinking, of the end user. An outline has gradually started to appear. Then, Ms. Omoru's work has been completed. She would like whoever acquires it to use it however they see fit. What will her teacher think of her work? あの、本当に<笑> A Suruga bamboo sensory craftsman that senses the kindness of the bamboo. She works for the sake of those that will hold her work. There's never an end in her training. The warmth within her hands will surely reach the people and will surely continue into the future. She will open a door to the future and take another step toward her dreams. <laughs>